while we seek mirth and beauty and music light and gay there are frail forms fainting at the door though their voices are silent their pleading looks still say oh hard times come again no more is a traditional quick bread. Okay. You don't require any yeast. You can make it right on top of the stove if you have an oven, you can stick it in there. Today we're gonna make what they call in Micmac territory, uh, four cents. Good. All you guys out there listening, anybody knows what's, uh, why they're calling it four cents, we wanna know over here, so write to us. Good. Well, I, I have never seen it made, so I'm really interested what the ingredients First are and how you do it. First thing we want is flour. Flour, here we I go. I prefer unbleached flour, but if yeah. you, you know, if all you got is white, that's fine. If you wanna make it with whole wheat, half and half, I've made it that way, it's pretty uh -huh. good that way too. So how so much flour I, for this particular recipe? I say about four cups. What are four we there, cast. three now? Uh -huh. um, let's chuck the rest in there, there we go. Okay, all right. good. Now we want some baking powder in there. Uh huh. How much baking powder? Now, four cents. You need a lot. That's uh -huh. one thing. You know, usually uh, cakes and things like that, you might uh -huh. only put two tab two teaspoons. But I'm gonna put three whoppers. Yeah, that's a nice heaping teaspoon. I there. want to make sure this sucker rises. Okay. That's what I want. <laughs> I want it to rise. If you got people in your family who can't have too much salt, uh -huh. put less. Otherwise, I like about a level teaspoon. Spoon. Okay. Right good. in there. Uh -huh. Now you stir that one up for me. All right. All right. Good now we'll take that flour make and well. make a little well, a place to put the liquid in. Uh -huh. Good. Now we're going to want it to be the uh, consistency a little bit thinner than a cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it moves a bit, but not too much, because we're actually going to be putting this on the stove. I like corn oil. It's about three tablespoons, uh -huh. maybe two, of just ordinary old corn oil, cooking oil. If you've got canola, that's fine. But you remind me of my mother who cooks by... Well, you only put this much in, and she never measures well, anything. Well, you have a look at it. If you're watching, you'll know. Right, yeah, okay. I force you to watch, don't it? Yeah. You know how to make it once you watch. Okay. Now I'm putting water in. How that's, much water? A cup? That's about a cup. I'm going to chuck a little bit more in, because I really want it to uh -huh. have okay. a good, finished consistency. Right, here we go. Oh, darn it. Look out. Well, he's going to use the hand and put about that much baking soda. Baking soda. Quick, quick, get that in there. Uh -huh. It is a soda bread. Wouldn't yeah. Be, wouldn't be right without it. So for all you filmmakers, independent filmmakers, students, people who want a good nutritious bread for very little money. Without going to the store. Without going to the store. Here is Bannock. We need a little bit more water in it. Willie's gone to get the water. I think so. With our measurement uh, it must be about two cups by now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Something so, like that? Yeah. Two cups of water. You want it a little bit thin. Now, it's start, bit. now that's starting to look right. Okay. Tell me, Willie, how did you come by all of this uh, wisdom from the elders in the uh, First Nations people? I grew up thinking I was black until I was about 16. My brother said, you know, your grandmother's a Mi'kmaq. Uh -huh. I said, what's that? <laughs> it's an Indian. Yeah. I never heard of Mi'kmaq Indians. I was in Toronto growing up there. They took me up there a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, then I started to learn. Uh -huh. And then I got proud. Wow. Uh, I think our family must be a rainbow. <laughs> good. A so lot what, of people, what else? That's it. That's it? What we're going to do now is take this hot, this oil, uh -huh. put it in our pan, which is hot. Okay. This is simply enough here. Absolutely simple and yeah. cheap. I'm going to make sure that pan is oiled real good and it's good and hot. Uh -huh. Now, quick, let's get them in the pan. All right. Awesome. Cool. Errol could have stirred it seven or eight more times, but oh, really? we'll be all right. Okay. Now, one friend of mine, she lives in Eskasoni Reserve now. Uh huh. She's the only one I know, but I'm going to show you what she does. She just kind of makes a little well in the middle. Uh huh. And she says that it will cook more evenly if oh, you do that. Okay. Most people don't. Uh huh. Now, folks, I want you to pay careful attention to this because if you want to find somebody who could possibly mess this up, you're looking at the right guy here. Now, is it ready or does it No, have to no, cook well, Earl, we got to let that thing cook just a, at least a, a few minutes. She wants to oh, get brown on okay. the bottom. That's good. And I'm going to ask you, since you're the one who's uh, most balanced here, uh -huh. to scoot that bannock off over onto the plate. We're going to flip it upside down and cook it right there again. So this dish could be made at a campfire, for instance. Mm -hmm. As long as you've got a place to, to use your frying pan, you can make bannock.